G'day everybody, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the top of Germany. Now we are at the top, at the very top of the Zugspitze, the highest point here in Germany. So let's have a look around here and uh, yeah, let's come back to the video I already recorded about uh, one and a half hours ago. This is how long I've been up here. It's fantastic, so let's get it on. Okay, finally outside the building. This remarkable piece of engineering almost at the very top of a mountain that's almost 3,000 meters high you have this structure here it's absolutely impressive not only the tunnel for the uh, train they built in the 1920s which was opened in 1930 I think this came a little later but wow have a look at that 2,962 meters is the summit Not that far away and this view to the south as mentioned a little hazy but you can see the mountains here at the very front you can see the mountains in the background what a view that is what a fantastic day to come up here to the top of the Zugspitze and this over there is the Münchner Haus another restaurant and once again I have to wonder how easily accessible this place is it's amazing okay where do we start let's start over there and I can already feel the thin air Ooh. it's a little windy sorry for the sound Here's the view to the south. Wow. The cross marks the top over there where the cross is. This is 2,962 meters above sea level. And I don't know if I can go up there. Looks like a climbing path. Uh, yeah, I will not do that. Not with the shoes I'm wearing and not with the amount of snow which is up here. Let's keep on looking here at this platform. Oh wow, that's really hazy. <laughs> Viewing here to the northwest now. Oh wow. Oh wow. This is fantastic. Down there you can see the Eibsee, this one here, and the Eibsee station and this is the path, the gondola, that I will most likely take to get down again, will take. Here to the right this is Greinau, and further in the back I hope you can see that through the haze there is Garmisch-Partenkirchen. And yeah, being afraid of heights is not a good factor if you're up here. Somewhere there in the background there is Munich and the whole rest of Germany. And I'm so impressed being up here. And there's a walking path, not only here to the summit, but uh, just mentioned I will not do that. But there's also a walking path around the Eibsi, and this definitely will be another video. Maybe today, I'm not sure about that. Let's see how long I will take. It will take me to finish this video and to enjoy the views from up here, because it's more than amazing. It's just fantastic. I'm so impressed. See the elevation of the cross. This is about yeah five meters elevation. So we are here at almost 2,960 meters. Wow. Oh yeah. And here the view described. The view is not too good with the haze today. 
but yeah, it's still fantastic. And over there, there's already the Austrian flag. So the summit is in Germany, but I think over there is already Austria. So let's have a look. Let's go to Austria. <laughs> And yeah, there is no passport control. <laughs> of course, it's all the EU, it's all the. Schengen zone, so no border control between Germany and Austria right here. <laughs> oh yeah, and here the gondola is going down. This is very, very steep. <laughs> Once again, what a remarkable piece of engineering to get up here like this. Absolutely impressive. Oh yeah, and down there you can see the tracks of the narrow gauge railway right in the middle of the forest coming from the Ipsy right below the tracks of the gondola yeah and down there the train entered the tunnel and came out again over there on the other side Wow! <laughs> one more view to the south and here at the Münchner Haus lot of people. It says elevation 2,964, okay. This house here was built 1897. Wow. Alright, and here's the border. Let's go to Austria. And welcome to Austria. <laughs> mm. Covered walkway, yeah, that's great. Chopper. And here the view to the west. Wow. <laughs> Okay, back out again on the Austrian side of the top here in the state of Tirol. This platform is absolutely fantastic as well. This Gemse, I don't know the English word for that, I'm sorry like a small deer that lives up here in the mountains. Oh, wow. <laughs> Let's see if this will be one video, maybe two. One the way up and one the very top. Yeah, I think I'll make it this way. Down to Garmisch-Partenkirchen. The gondola, the railway, the mountain, the mountains further to the north. Here in the EU on the Austrian side of the border. Let's enjoy the view to the west a little bit. It should be right here. Yeah, yeah exactly. Here is another gondola. So the top here is reachable by two gondolas. One goes down here towards Kerma in Austria. Westerly winds, yeah. Sorry for the sound. But just enjoy the view. It's fantastic. What we 
also have here on the Austrian side of the, of the summit this snow mountain. Not bad. Well, well, well. Not bad. Of course, yeah, temperatures are above freezing level, so it will stop melting. It is melting. But still fantastic. Okay, let's give you the final view here on the Austrian side towards the skiing area, towards the gondola that's going down again on the German side. And this radar equipment, I don't know if the NSA has their fingers on this, this is absolutely possible. But it looks fantastic. All right. Let's close it up here. I'm having a fantastic time. I hope you enjoyed these videos here from the top of Germany and from the Austrian side as well. Thank you so much for watching. If you have anything on the Spartenkirchen area, coming up here is a very, very good idea. You will have a lot of fun. Thank you once again. See you soon. The Garmisch-Partenkirchen and the surroundings. Have a good time. Goodbye.